Oh. <laughs> well, well, let's just eat it, dude. Come on. Hot one, the last dab. Hey, welcome to Hot One Stevens Tennis Edition. My name is Arik Zivi. I'm the head women's tennis coach here at Stevens and a 2011 alumni. With me is Steve Gatchko, the head men's tennis coach here at Stevens. Uh, we're gonna be eating 10 wings. If anyone has seen the show Hot Ones on YouTube, we got the season 14 lineup here with us that we have not had yet. Um, so we're gonna be opening the bottles. We have our wings down here. One question roughly per wing. Uh, for recruiting alumni, current players, or any, or just really Steve and I, <laughs> we'll be the only ones who will watch this. So with that, Steve, you want to introduce yourself in the lapel mic? I wish I could say I'm happy to be here. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, I was hoping this day would never come, but got to stay positive and uh, dig deep here today, and we'll see uh, see how things go. Easy work. Good sauce though. I like that. Sweet. All right, Steve, while you're eating that wing, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, wing, wing number one down. Who's the who's your favorite player on your team right now? Favorite player on the team? That would be the one who listens to whatever I tell them to do on the court and uh, doesn't blame me if that advice is bad. So that person could change. one piece of advice you wish you could have given yourself as a player and, and transferred that to your uh, your team a good question better question than my question um, from an academic standpoint I have nothing really to offer <laughs> the girls in terms of advice because they're much better students than I was so I would answer this from a tennis standpoint which is I would say work on your weaknesses more as a player while you're in college. Don't avoid your weaknesses because um, they won't get better if you don't work on them. And I think we tend to come out and just focus on our strengths because it's more fun. All right, wing number three down. So it's getting a little spicier though. Now I actually feel something. But it's nice. Okay, so question number three, Steve. If I'm a high school senior, I just finished my senior year, and I'm committed to Stevens to come play for you, and I had time to train that summer, what should I work on? What would you like to see me improve most coming into your program? I'd just like to say that when the third third wing here, and, and lips are tingling, tongue is tingling. It's not a good sign, uh, but gonna keep pushing forward so uh, good question Eric to answer your question I would say be comfortable being uncomfortable a lot of a lot of players uh, prefer to hang back and go big focus on the ground strokes and it's just it's fun it's that's more fun to do that I'd rather see them find a way to get to come to the net finish the point uh, sooner on their terms by the third or fourth ball um, and also, don't be afraid to, to get past. Don't be afraid to you know, make an error at the net. Uh, the more comfortable you are uh, being uncomfortable and putting yourself in difficult situations, I think the more prepped you'll be for, for college tennis um, and to get ready for doubles. That's a big part of college tennis, and we spend a lot of time in the, on that in our program. Round four. What would you say you are most excited about heading into the spring season? Steve's struggling. Steve's entering Struggle City. Four down, six to go. Um, most excited, I would say, opportunity to win 
the conference championship. Second, it would only be the second conference title our program has won program history. The first one was three seasons ago, I believe. The last full season we had before COVID, or last season that was not affected by COVID, I should say. So excited for that opportunity, no question. All right, Steve, five wings down. Question number five. What are you most looking forward to in your spring schedule in 2022? It's your first full spring season since before COVID. I'm most looking forward to a full spring season. Uh, last spring, it was great to be able to play. Um, it was conference only. So now I'm looking forward to bringing back non-conference opponents, which we normally schedule uh, as top nationally and regionally ranked schools. Um, but most importantly, I'm, I'm looking forward to the process and to build throughout the season, uh, and not focus on necessarily the win loss, uh, but just growing together as a team, getting better as the season progresses, uh, with the ultimate goal of peaking at the right time uh, towards the end, end of the season. Gatchko enters the pain cave. Yeah, it's. Only two away from the bomb. That's when it gets real. Oh, no. What are you feeling right now? Everything's com compounding. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Lips are burning, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, it's really. This is hot. It's hard not to just focus on what I have going on here. All right. How has your <laughs> how have your eclectic past experiences shaped the way you approach your day-to-day -day operations and your coaching philosophy with your team? That's the third ambitious question Steve asked. Just to be known, I'll, I will answer that one. The other two I won't answer. Um, I will say, I uh, was very fortunate in my early 20s and and rest of my 20s to travel, okay? And do things like the Camino de Santiago. I'm assuming that's kind of what you mean by eclectic. And I would say just uh, allows me to, I see coaching as much more than just tennis. And just about the human experience, like you said about your team, the spring you're excited to see the team grow as a group and as a community. and to me, uh, tennis and coaching is much more than just tennis. And I think that comes from life experiences. So yeah, that would be my answer to you. Whoa. Wow. What are you doing with that mic? I don't understand. I'm just going to talk to me. Oh. I'll ask you a question when you're done eating it, and you answer it while you're suffering. Go for it. Trouble. Some more on the other side there. Oh. Oh. Back to throat. <gasps> What's your favorite thing about coaching uh, Steve and student athletes? I wish I could be coaching one of my athletes right now and not doing this. Oh. Oh my God. I got. I got. I can't. The more time I take, the longer this pain continues. Um. Oh my god. Very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. Um, what was the question? Yeah. No, really. <laughs> so how, what's your favorite thing about coaching students? Do you know? Like what sets them apart? My favorite thing about coaching Steven student athletes is what's kept me here this long and why I love working with them is they're open-minded. Um, for the most part, they don't take themselves too seriously. Um, very driven, very focused, very goal-oriented, uh, and they keep me on my toes, just like I am right now.
Steve's first the bomb experience right now. It just keeps growing. That's the problem with the bomb. I'm actually starting to get a little lightheaded at the moment. I got a question for you. If you could take one shot of any player you've ever played, like let's say it was Roger Federer, you could take his forehand. Any player of Steven's tennis history, what shot and what player would you take? One shot I would take. Um, I have a couple couple in my mind, a couple options. I think I have the Matt Heinrich, the Tornado forehand. I kind of had something similar, similar to that back in the day, so this is better, but really go deep here. Steve Sue is lacrosse backhand overhead. I remember that. That was a pretty pretty special stroke. Hmm. We're moving on, Steve. We're moving on. I can't wait. I can't wait for you. All right. Answers. Oh, that's hot. Here's a question for you. What is what is your pre-match the worst one so far? What is your pre-match um, wardrobe cosmetic Dude, approach? I feel like they put the bomb in that. <laughs> it tastes like battery acid. Oh. It's so bad. Oh. Wait, wait, um. What is your what is your pre-match? Oh, it's getting worse, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Come on, ask me a question. I don't know. I don't know. Why are we here? Why are you we here? Ask me a question. What's my pre match? What? Routine? No, it's a terrible question. Uh, uh, <sighs> How is the transition from, there you go. from, from player okay. to coach uh, into. It's a head women's tennis coach here at Stevens, and, and just uh, go with that. Enjoy that. It's so bad. I don't know if it's as. It just tastes so bad. Immediately bad. Like in, so, I would say when I stopped playing, I remember I was like 22 years old. And I decided I'm no longer a player. I'm a coach now, and it was a very clear line, and that helped a lot to have a clear line, and not to kind of relive my playing days. I, that's why, I, yeah, it's disgusting. It's just, it's like battery acid. So I think, are you going to listen to my answer though? <laughs> so yeah, that helped a lot having a clear line, and then from there, you know, working with you is okay. Um, could have been worse. We had some good times together, and uh, now we're here. So it's worked out pretty well so far. Last dab, baby. Oh my god. Okay, what? What? Um, oh. Well, we'll let you see it, dude. Come on. Hot one, the last dab. Eat the wing, dude. Calm down. <laughs> oh, why, why, where's the fire here? The, we have a, we're gonna run out of battery on the, I don't remember, care. you don't care, well, I care. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you're right, it's not funny. I don't even know, am I asking you, are you asking me? I, I don't know. So eat the wing first. I'm dizzy. I'm legitimately dizzy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you dance your fish on the answer. The answer after we eat the last wig. But uh, no rush. I don't want to be here. <laughs> uh, uh, so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. That was worse than the bomb. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, that was, that was bad. That wasn't. There's I no agree. comparison there. Oh, this is disgusting too. Do you smell this? Cheers. Cheers. To the ducks. All right, that's it. We are done. It's hot. 
That's all we got. I, I just want to say on the record, I am impressed Ark did. He did douse those wings heavily, much more heavily than me. So I respect that. And uh, I really think that's, that's just a credit to me and my coaching. You know, Ark did play for me, uh, be coached underneath me, under my tutelage, uh, beneath me, <laughs> under me. And I, I really feel like I've gotten him, gotten him to this point to grow and flourish. And, and uh, I, I take all the credit in the world and, and uh, he's ready. He's now ready. Spread his wings <laughs> and fly. Take the ducks to new, new heights. Well, I got nothing to add there. That's just straight truth. All right, we're done. We're done. This is over. Oh, boy. But, how are you feeling? Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry. That was about that. It's on my pants. <laughs> you can take some That's not coming off. You can take some home with you if you'd like. Oh. All right. You got your question? No.